Remember Museum 3945. Hmm. MMs? It's MMs. It's Marcel and Mathilde. Oh. But because that attack, they call themselves MMs. How cute! They are there! They are there! They are there! They are Hello! So you are! No, no, it's my pleasure no, 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 that you think so, <laughs> that you do this thing. In memory of the World War II veterans. Oh, wow. And we have many, many schools. Yesterday we had a huge school, so we get the kids, we get everybody, so that the people remember and, and the young generation learn something. They don't know. Come in. These are all my children. So you have many, many, many memories. Oh, yes. <laughs> Je vais prendre le livre pour leur montrer. Je ne sais pas ce que ça signifie pour être libre ou pas. Speak your own language Where anymore. You going? cannot go to your own school. You cannot go to your own <laughs> church. You cannot go to see the rest of your family anymore. This, he has still his books from that time. He kept It's everything. my school book. Ah. The war. During the war. Yes. Look, look the first page. What's the book. See? All of, all the book in the war, the first page is Hitler with the children. Uh, ein Führer, ein Volk. Right. One, one leader, one yes. people. Yes. That's the corner for the first division, first infantry division, because they liberated on September 11th. Right. But once we are going further, you will see different divisions. Of course. And many pictures of the 70s. But they were the first ones? Yes, the first right. ones. Yeah, they were already in Africa, Sicily, yeah. and then the landing, and then the Hogan Forest, and then the Battle of the Burge. Right. The Wehrmacht was the regular army, yes. but they had SS guys in each section yes. of it. Oh, everything to make sure they did the straight and narrow. Yeah, the first people that Hitler well, put in these camps were German. The ones who say something wrong or, or were against him, right. they, he cleaned, he found people. Oh, yeah. Two girls were standing and watching 
the truck. And when the truck passed in front of them, the two girls did that to the American soldiers in the back. But one of the Germans, he saw that, took the two girls also, and they stayed three years there till the end of the war in a concentration camp for that. They just did that to be a victim. Uh, that was too much for the Germans. Everything was controlled. Oh. You don't know what it means to, to live uh, in no that free no, thought, no, no freedom of no. speech. That's no. part of the no reason. Free. Everybody was dead. So, and if it is a, and when it's a British plane, you can write to London if you're not exactly day and hour, and they send you all the information about the crew, the last mission, and everything. So a friend of us, we didn't have time, did it for us, and so we got everything, all the papers, the uh -huh. crew, and everything, uh -huh. the last mission, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and even a picture of the pilot. He was 27 years old. He was married with that lady, and they had a little girl, Shayla, that was her name. So to know when she was, uh, was asking and she got, she didn't know where he was buried. She didn't know where he died, how he died. She knew nothing about it and nobody wanted to tell her. So and finally, and that's only 94, we had already the museum. So she, how old she was, she was 50 years sure. old. She, on internet, she met the brother-in-law of another of the men who died in that same plane. And he lives in Florida. Oh, he lives in Florida. That's a friend of us. And he told to, to Shayla, you need to go to Clermont by the M&M's. There was something about your father. And that's how she came here. And that's her. <laughs> He's very old, huh? This is a wine castle. So this is a private home yes. owned by the Fagard family. Fagaro. Yes, Fagaro. Fagaro, yeah. Fagaro family. Yeah. And then this starts yeah. here. And yeah. that's, I, that's me. That's my house. Yeah. That's my house. That's there. Yeah. Yeah. It, it didn't cost me too much. Really, the rent it was... was in the land and the, and the hay. If it was outside, it was muddy and rain and everything. Yeah. Of course, and, and, and it was wonderful yeah. to be with a roof over your head. I will you see, we hadn't up. been in combat yet, and here we are up in that barn, and it didn't look so sturdy. This looks sturdy, but it didn't look then. And then the buzz bombs are going overhead at night, and they make, you know, they sound like a putt, 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 yeah. putt, putt, yeah. putt, very loud, and they have big, fiery crosses coming out the rear. Well, I don't mind telling you, we became concerned, or well, let me just say scared, say the least. Yeah, right. <laughs> because we hadn't been in combat, it was our first experience, and here are these monsters going over yeah. our head, with just a little piece of that. Of course, you can. 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 You can.